This girl is losing her shit. Where are the police? Where are they? I've been waiting all afternoon. I've been scared and crying and throwing up and waiting and waiting and waiting. And they're just, they never show up. They never show up. I keep hearing sirens, but then there's never a knock on the door. They never show up. When are they going to show up? What is happening? They're not going to. Y'all have already told me. You've reported me 30 times. 30 different of you. You reported me for the pedophilia. So why are, why, where, 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 where are they? Where, where are the police? Where are the authorities? Why, why am I still sitting here crying and waiting to be arrested for a crime that I didn't even really know I was committing? Come on. I'm going to spend the rest of my life in prison as a pedophile. But I'm going to fight to make sure that whoever it was that set me up also spends the rest of their life labeled as a sexual predator. Hey, at and least you teach how to make whippets. Those are harassing good. Harassing homeless women. <laughs> 14 years old. What 14-year-old is looking at homeless women and offering homeless women money using their wealth to manipulate homeless women, homeless mentally ill women, for over a year on that site, they messaged me. They knew my situation. They knew I was homeless. They knew I was schizophrenic. They knew all of that. And then, but you didn't know anything they about him, like his age. I was desperate, and then they offered me so much money, and I sent them a single picture of my breast because they offered me so much money, and the money, the money never arrived, so I never sent any more pictures. But you were gonna. Oh I didn't my God. receive any in return. I didn't ask for any in return. It was never any kind of a relationship. I was a homeless, mentally ill woman that needed money, and a fourteen-year-old child took advantage of that. And he, he he trapped me, and he's wanting to be in prison for the rest of my life because he entrapped me. And how can that not be considered a sexual predator? Anybody of any age that's going out and seeking out the homeless and offering them money for sexual acts and then threatening to put them in prison for the rest of their life for performing those sexual acts, that's a predator. That's a predator. I was entrapped by a predator and now I'm going to go to prison for the rest of my life, but I swear to you that I will make sure that whoever this is, whether it's a girl or a boy, they will spend the rest of their lives as a sexual predator. I will fight. I will fight to make sure that that 14-year-old is known as a sexual predator for the rest of their life because that's what they are, going after homeless, mentally ill people and offering them money for things that they're going to put them in jail for. <laughs> you know what? I'm sorry, guys. I know this isn't like normal Cyrax stuff. But my God. Like, I just posted a video of her and then all this shit went down. So I just, like, I wanted to share it with you. And she is so much like Cyrax. It's like, blows my mind. Like, they think just alike. Don't you think that's weird? had to leave the apartment. I, I couldn't sit there and cry and wait for the police anymore. They're going to have to pick me up wherever they find me. I can't, I can't handle this. I, I managed to get up a couple of dollars doing recycling, so I'm walking down to the dispensary, which is about six miles away, but that's fine. I need to get out of the room anyway. I just can't handle this. I can't. I, I'm just... <laughs> I've been in freak-out mode all day. started last night. And they, I never imagined that a child would do something like this. I never in my life imagined that there would be children online messaging adults who are mentally unwell and homeless and offering them money. I mean, are you sure he really did this? Or, like, did you hear this from somebody? Or what the fuck? Is this, like, you know, is somebody trying to, like, freak you out? I mean, apparently you did send your titties to a young kid. But how do you know that young kid really went to the police?
Maybe you should just turn yourself in. That would probably be a good thing. And lesson learned, do not show titties to little boys or girls or any little kid. For photographs that they're going to take to the police to put you in jail for the rest of your life with. Like, it never, ever occurred to me that that could happen, ever. It never occurred to me that a child would do that. Can you always hear? Isn't that scary? It never occurred to her that a child would go to the cops. How dare that child go to the police with a picture of a lady's titties? Not like, oh my god, I'm a fucking retard because I actually sent my titties to a 14-year-old kid and I knew I should have asked his age. Nothing like I take total responsibility but blaming this fucking kid and had no, it didn't even, like, come into her little pea brain that that could happen. Like, kids don't do that, right? Kids are fucking 14 and they still play with Legos. I don't think so. Like, those times have passed. I think you're just, like, trying to blame other people. This is sad. I'm, like, I'm shook. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm, like... Wow, Mary. Ooh, I'd hate to be you. People telling people that wouldn't be kids you. to watch out online because there are adults that are looking for kids. There are adults that are trying to hurt kids, but there are kids that are trying to hurt adults. <laughs> it's so fucked up. There are kids that are trying to hurt adults. There is a child that manipulated me into oh sending them a picture and they're going to put... Cyrax! Oh my god. It's Cyrax. Holy fucking Moses, I cannot believe how much the two of you are alike. Oh my god. This is crazy to me. Crazy to me. A child manipulated you. And you never got that weed. That was your thing, right? He never got the weed. You sent him your titties, but you didn't get the weed. <laughs> And this whole thing isn't funny, but you, <laughs> Jesus, man, the stupidity. Oh, I really like, I don't know. I just, I'm surprised. Me in jail. I'm going to spend the rest of my life behind bars, but his life is over too. That's what you need to understand. He, if... If this person doesn't get labeled a sexual predator for the rest of their life, there is absolutely no justice in America. Because if this was an adult, if there was an adult going around, like walking around downtown, looking for mentally ill homeless women and offering them money to take pictures of them or touch them inappropriately, people would say that is a predator. That's a predator. It's out there. That is not a predator. That's somebody in search of fucking child predators. You people are the predators. Don't you get. You don't. Oh my god. I'm not gonna explain this fucking shit. Sexual gratification from people who are at their lowest, most vulnerable point. From people that are mentally ill. From women that are homeless. What does that have to do with anything? Offering them money, knowing that they're vulnerable, knowing that they're desperate, knowing that they need it. An adult that was out here doing that would be labeled a predator. It is predator. You even said if you know that if you want something, you're just going to ask for it. So if you wanted money for weed, why didn't you do it like you do every day now? For behavior. It is absolutely predatory behavior to go after somebody who is mentally ill is and not. homeless and do what they're doing. It's not, Mary. But because it's a child that did it. You're wrong. Y'all don't want to say that it's a predator because, well, he can't be. He's a, he's a child. He would have been the one that was Doesn't being preyed upon. But no, because I didn't ask for anything. He messaged me for over a year. Messaged me, offered me money, told me what he wanted. Knowing that I was homeless, knowing that I had mental health problems, knowing that I was desperate for help and money and... 
and they did it just so they could put me in prison because they don't like homeless people and they wanted to get back at a homeless person. Oh my God. They wanted to put a homeless person in prison. Oh and they're God. going to. At least you, know, you had meals and they, they won. <laughs> my life is officially over. They won. But his life is also over. I swear to God, I will fight. I will fight for the rest of my life to make sure that the person that did this is at least labeled a sexual predator so that for the rest of his life, he'll have to go around and tell his neighbors that when he was 14 years old, he was being predatory to mentally ill homeless women online. Oh my God. It's fucked up. It is fucked up the way you think.